Now let's say you're trash at raids. Like, really trash. You say it's because you can't find a raid team, but I think we all know the real reason you can't win. Well, as somebody who's gotten over a thousand raid runs with no Contra, you've come to the right place. Now, if this guide ever helps you get a raid Contra before me, the least you could do is drop code Gluk in the KR shop. Now, this raid guide will be broken up into four sections. Laboratory, Ortuga, Soul Sanctum, and Zombies. All of these sections will be timestamped if you want to go to a specific one or if you want to watch them in a different order. But for now, we're just going to go from top to bottom, starting with lab. The first thing you want to do in lab is make sure somebody gets the auto pistol. Hopefully you, because I know you don't like spam clicking for hours. But then once you get into the raid boss room, you want to make sure you go to at least one of the corners and wail on it. <laughs> Honestly, just spam it as much as you can. Once you finally kill it, there will be a strafe jump you need to make uh, to get to the next section, and here you want to press your W and D keys at the same time to make this jump. Just go across the lighting, and this will be where your first key card is. Now have someone open the main door for you, and just make sure you kill that scientist from a good distance so he can't shoot you. Once you get that done, there will be a second key card you need to get in front of this next scientist. And you also want to make sure you grab the shotgun, as you'll need it for the final boss. Now this is a very complicated slide hop technique to get past this parkour. Uh, it's definitely going to take some practice, but if you want to run a lab practice, please do, because it took me a long time to get that. If you're having a hard time doing that, you can also just make sure you strafe against the scientist, and you can just do the parkour yourself as best you can. Now once you make it past that parkour, there is a very specific spot you can stand in to kill these next two scientists. You stand against this cardboard box here, there is a very small angle to where you can shoot this one. Once you kill that, you want to go with your shotgun up under this next scientist and just shoot him under the railing. Now the next thing you'll have to do is go get the water card across all these boxes, and there is a skip to do that. That's not that hard to just do it normally, but if you're really trying to go fast, this is the easiest way to get across. Once you do that, there will be these maniacs you need to avoid and just grab this fourth card here. And you'll there will be one more scientist you need to take out before the final boss. Just do the same thing as you did in the big parkour room, just strafe back and forth and he can't hit you. Once you kill that scientist, there will be one more card for you to get before you open up the boss room. Now to make it to the boss room, there will be one more strafe jump you need to make right here. Just make sure you press W and D, you should be fine. There will also be an AK to your right for someone else to grab, and if you have AK and shotgun, you will be A-OK. -okay. Now the first thing you want to do when you first get into the boss room is to clear out the scientists right away, because they will aimbot the shit out of you if you don't. Once you get them cleared out, the guy with the shotgun will bait the boss and just jump in a circle. It's, it's really not that hard. Um, the main boss really misses easily if you're going in a circle, so just keep spamming that and should be a done deal. Now, unlike any other boss in any raid, when you kill Dr. Krunk, he drops the item as a pickup, so you do not automatically get your item. You need to pick that up and then you'll be done. And just as a final side note, there can be Krunkanium spawning on the side here, so make sure you look out for that as well. When you load up Tortuga, the first thing you want to get from the beach is the compass over by the rocks. After that, you'll want to go grab the paddle from the crab boss room and just make sure you kill the crab. You should have one person baiting the crab in a circle. Just make sure to avoid the dirt bombs and the small crabs. You should be fine. Just have everyone else sit in the corner and it should be pretty easy.
And once you do that, you can skip a good chunk of this parkour by just climbing up the tree. And then the first thing you want to get is the map and the AK if you can get it. Whoever grabs the map should grab the AK. Uh, you can just take out these explosives on the top before you go up there and then just grab the map. You should be fine. Now, if you didn't have a chance to get AK, you can also grab the FAMAS to the left of the top of the rock. Uh, there'll also be a crumb juice in there, and if you did take damage earlier on, you should be good to heal. Now, once you've got AK or FAMAS, the King Crumb boss is really easy to just bait with one person. Uh, if you stand off onto this specific island off to the side, you should be able to just walk back and forth and avoid the bombs and everyone else can just sit in the corner and just pelt them. Now the bait for the Captain Crumb boss is really difficult, so I decided to record this one myself. Um, you really wanna be using these kegs against him when he's close, it'll do extra damage. The main trick with this bait is to be backing in a circle around the ship and jumping when he shoots, because this is the only way to really dodge it while he's in front of you. Um, so you just want to be sort of backtracking a little bit and making sure you time those jumps right, um, and you should be fine. Uh, just have your everyone else in the raid uh, shoot the ghosts for you, as well as the mirror image should be pretty simple. Although I know I used to mess this one up a lot at first, um, but it, everything just comes with practice. Then once you kill the boss, it'll open up the final room. You should check the chest for Frost Essence and Soul Essence, and you'll be good. Now for Soul Sanctum, this will be a solo run. Um, there is one main person who does the baiting for the first and second boss normally. But if you're on a solo run, or you are the person who's baiting, you want to make sure you get all the points in the first room. You want to kill all of the Wandering Souls, and you want to be the one who kills the first boss. Now the trick to bait this first boss is to make sure you grab the shotgun. It's similar to the uh, lab bait on the final boss. You just wanna jump in a circle with the shotgun and just make sure you're avoiding everything. Uh, just have everyone else that's in the raid with you be in the starting room, just shooting them with the pistols. Um, but just make sure before you kill the boss that they stop shooting so you get the kill. Now once you kill the first boss, there is a small movement trick you can do to skip some parkour. Uh, just strafe against this wall and wall jump and you should be able to get the rope. Now if you need healing, uh, there is a certain path you need to take for the maze. Uh, and you guys should go in together as a single group, because once one person goes in, the whole solution changes. Um, you'll have to come in through the green line if someone goes in first. But you should normally just go in through the red line and come back out through the green line, you should be fine. Uh, there's nothing else you need. Uh, there's a rev in the healing room if someone really needs it. But most runs, you shouldn't need uh, the revolver there. Now, whether you needed the maze or not, once you get to this point, uh, you should get the points that you just got from the first room to open up this room up on the ladder. Uh, it'll take you to the charge rifle and the AK, which if you're gonna win, with any squad, most times you're going to need the charge rifle, and you'll also need the charge rifle if you're going to solo uh, win by yourself. So just make sure when you're dropping down um, to be really slow with it and line yourself up properly. Should be no problem. Uh, and also do not get hit by these small ghosts. They will kick your ass. I think they hit for 100. Um, but then what you're going to do uh, to get the boss fight started is to just go around and hit these buttons. Once you get to the second one, though, you're going to need to hit this knife throw. Uh, the trick for that is to get to the top of this ladder and line up about two blocks up from the roof. Uh, it's a very specific spot and you'll want to full charge it, but once you line it up, you should hit it every time. Uh, you might mess it up a couple times, but that's okay.
once you hit those last two buttons just start wailing on them um you'll have a lot of time to hit him in between the ghost spawns but you want to be charge rifling whoever has the charge rifle should be taking out the smaller ghosts uh and there will be a time when the pumpkin spawn that typically is entirely the charge rifler's job um that also lets you grind for the pumpy pet so whoever gets charge rifle usually clears all the jack-o'-lanterns as it's the quickest way and everyone else can just focus the boss once you do that pretty much done just spam them up easy win hopefully you deviously die A majority of the zombies guide will be on how to get the cupid's blaster as quickly as possible as they have removed the tome unobtainable from zombies and all of the other challenges uh, are pretty straightforward most of them are really grindy uh, as far as the perks challenge goes though i do know that the only perks that count are the ones you buy the perk drops do not count um, but for the cupid's blaster i had a ton of help from awesome boy uh, who showed me how to do everything. The main things he'll be showing for the Cupid's Blaster grind is how to unlock the Pack-a-Punch, how to get free Pack-a-Punch, and also a mystery box trick to help you get the Alien Blaster. So shout out to him for basically giving me all the info for this part. Yeah, uh, there's also Frog. Don't they just spawn at random? Yeah, it's, it's uh, right here. 9, 2, 5. Oh, wait, you have to shoot you have to shoot maybe. the sprays? I have to shoot the sprays 5 to 5. And it's gonna open up this ring. Uh -huh. That's one. Is, so is like, there like, is there like see, an order? You see the last number? You see the last number? 3? Oh, so like the brutes are level 31, so like they're first. So all we're doing here is shooting the 525 spray to open a blue ring towards the center of the map. And you want to bring these zombies to the blue ring in the order that the second digit of their level shows. So if it was a level 31, a level 12, and a level 13, you would want to bring it in that order because the second digit is ordered 1, 2, 3. Okay, did it? Okay. Oh, so that's, that's how you know it's open, right? So come here. here. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's open. Okay. Follow me. Yeah. Well, you see those skeleton heads? Yeah, do, can, do I shoot it or can it just be anybody? I shoot it. And here's one right here. Oh, okay. Got that. Right here. Wait, where? It was right here. Oh, okay. I, I, I probably saw one that. One right there. I just didn't one see right it. there. Okay. Uh, one right here. All right. Right there. Holy, there's so many. Okay. And here's one right here. Okay. Right there. Oh, yeah. Right here. Okay. Yeah, and the one right there. Oh, is right that there. the last one? No, that's, uh, there are a few more. Oh, okay. There. Okay. Right here. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many. Yeah, and right there. Wait, where, where, where? I don't see it. Right there, there. How you have to jump? You have to. What? Yeah. Oh, it's oh my! I never would have seen that. Okay. And the last one's right there. Where? Right here. Right okay. Wait. So that's. And, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. One more. One more. One more. Right one more. There. Dude, we're gonna lose! Oh my god, hurry! Here, quick, quick. Oh, 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 let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. here, you see here, you see here. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, oh. I, I, we lost. I, I didn't see it. Why? What happened? I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna screenshot. See the oh, so, so it's there. a power. Oh, so it's a power up thing. Yeah. Okay, and you grab it and like instantly pack a punches it for you. I instantly pack a punch. I have no idea what I'm that missing. One? Oh, you I got it. One. Okay. Okay, uh, let me see. Here. Yes. Oh, wow. Look at this. I have never seen this texture, dude. What is this? <laughs> if you were gonna do that, you'd have to... 
You'd have to get the alien blaster first by sheer luck, right? Yep. And then do all that. Oh my goodness. That seems a lot. It is, it's, dude, no wonder no one has the Cupid's blaster. Jeez. Wait, uh, can you buy, this is a wall weapon. Can I buy ammo for it? It's D very expensive. Four th Dude, yeah, this, this is trash. Oh my god. Uh, join the link. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, just kill me. Oh, okay. You can do this uh, five times and you will get a sharing is caring message. Oh, so now I have to keep going. What? One more? All right, one more after this. Yeah. All right, cool. That should be enough. All right, All right. so All just right. spam it. Just spam it and yeah, keep make sure to knife. Okay. Ooh, charge rifle. Ooh, charge. Sharing okay, you scary. see the message? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Hit it again and you will notice the points. Oh, it's half off. It's half off now. Oh, interesting. So now I can oh I can do two hits. Great. I think the sharing is carrying trick is is massive, because like if you're getting stupid unlucky and you can't get an alien blaster, then you can just do that and it'll be a lot easier. Yeah. But now that you know how to do everything, the strategy to grinding the Cupid's Blaster Challenge is to get the Alien Blaster from the Mystery Box, or to use the Discount Box trick if you don't get lucky. Then you want to make sure you get the Zombies to the Blue Ring in the correct order so you can open up the Pack-a-Punch. The moment after you open the Pack-a-Punch, you'll have um, only a minute or two to shoot all the skulls to get the free Pack-a-Punch power-up. And if you can do that in time, you'll have the Pack-a-Punched Cupid's Blaster and you can grind out the conversions. Now I will say me trying this strategy solo, it was pretty much impossible to get the Cupid's Blaster in time, so I would definitely recommend a team. And uh, yeah, that's it. If you've watched this video from beginning to end, then you know everything I know about raids and zombies. Now hopefully you'll be luckier than me and actually get something half decent, but you know, that's not up to me. Either way, hopefully you did learn something new from this video, and good luck on your runs.